Welcome back, my name is Pirate Piku, the game Slide 2, Band of Thieves. Last time we defeated Rajan with some difficulty. And this episode will be with Bentley trying to free Sly. So let's get into it. It took a sleepless week of data crunching, but I eventually tracked down the location of my friends, locked away in the mysterious towers of Prague. At the moment, they are the unwilling guests of Interpol's most renowned prison warden, the Contessa. While still a criminal psychology student, she entered into a whirlwind romance and married a wealthy aristocrat. Sadly, the union was short-lived, as the general suspiciously died a few weeks after the ceremony. The widowed Contessa put her education and newly acquired estate to work by opening a criminal rehabilitation center. Her pioneering use of hypnotherapy has produced some good results and subsequently earned her a prominent position within Interpol. My friends are locked up somewhere in the clinic and are slated for the Contessa's good Samaritan brainwashing. If I don't bust them out soon, they'll be working a nine to five job selling shoes, and I'll be out two best friends. Bentley saves the gang in jailbreak. Is it wrong that I quite enjoy the way Bentley says, shoes? Anyway. I should make my way over to the Contessa's house. Maybe I'll pick up a few leads on the location of Sly and Murray. I kind of low-key hate forum-based support systems. Because... If your request for help gets buried under other forum posts, then you're ever so slightly uh, SOL. So, yeah. Nope, I'm not. Oh, come now. I'm not a particularly happy camper at the moment. Where's the train? Should have come by by now. And there you are. That's odd. Hmm. Oh well. And let's see, let's see. Not sly, but I can still manage this. I used to hate this level as a kid because the TV I was using was really dark so I legit couldn't see anything and it didn't help that uh, Contessa triggered my arachnophobia so Aha! The Contessa is out making her rounds Wait a second the feathers on my sleep darts vibrate near sounds. If I maintain my position on top of this parabolic dish, I should be able to hear that frequency at a distance. This is great. If I tag the Contessa with my darts, I'll be able to listen in on whatever she says. I might even learn where she's locked up Sly and Murray. All right, time to time to tag the Contessa if she stays still long enough. The claw gun is falling apart. Spice shipments have all but stopped. I never would have joined if I'd known it would be this easy to disrupt the plan. 
At least the Cooper gang is under lock and key. Their lopsided morality flies in the face of man's inherent selfishness. Ah well, they'll see it my way soon enough. Yes, yes! Let us learn all about your wicked, wicked ways. Curses, I missed. Those fools at Interpol. They keep sending me criminals and I keep making money. How come no one ever thought of this before? Hypnotize criminals and force them to reveal where they've hidden their fortune. I'm a genius. If only I had more spice to help me with a hypnosis. Of course, these days, I'm not so much afraid of the Contessa. That blasted Cooper gang. The fat one. What's his name? Murray. Yes, Murray. He'll be the first to break. I should spend a few sessions probing that feeble mind. I can only imagine the wealth that gang has accumulated over the years. In part thanks to uh, everyday life with uh, monster girls. That's like Cooper. Such a complex and rebellious mind. A month or two in the hole should break his spirit. Let him squat there week after week. He's seen that the guards along the wall all have motion detectors. There is no escape. Slowly, the reality of his captivity will set in, and I'll get to work on his mind. Inconceivable! She's no healthcare professional! Why, that's the most heinous crime I've ever heard of! Putting inmates into hypnosis so they'll tell her where they've stashed their loot! It dishonors both law enforcement and thieves at the same time. I should get to work and figure out a way to break Sly out of the hole. I want to apologize for what I find attractive. Alright, now if memory serves, jaw marker is, yeah, all the way back at the safe house. Actually, there's something I want to try. up. Oh, that's what I thought. Oh well, didn't hurt to try. What Giga Brain decided to put the two job markers on opposite sides of the levels when they're terminal computers all the way but when they're terminal computers right next to Contessa's house that you have to get to anyway. I don't understand it. It is simply something that is beyond my comprehension. That computer is part of a control system for the electromagnetic train. By hacking all the terminals along the train tracks, I should be able to reverse their polarity, thereby turning the trade into a giant projectile. Without question, its impact on the prison walls should create a hole large enough for Sly to escape through. And this is the first hacking job of the game. Huh. Nothing like a good computer hack job. Now the left oh analog stick should control this my This is going to get awkward. I'll have to hack through these barrier nodes. I should move the right analog stick in the direction I want to unleash my hacker code. By using both analog sticks at nope, the same nope. time, I'll Bad enemy code. and shoot in different directions. We don't tolerate now. Antivirus round here. That's one down. The train should be picking up speed. You know, uh, 
like I was saying before, the screen was so dark I couldn't see what was going on, really. So, uh, I follow the train tracks to find all the terminals. And, uh, got ran over more than a couple of times. Alright, here we go again. I do quite enjoy hacking. And the slot in slide two and three. Even slide one's hacking is kind of fun. It's a pity they kind of screwed the pooch in slide four, but that's kind of the running theme of slide four, screwing the pooch. Oh, oh. Do I have to kill all these sentry turrets? No. Do I want to? Yes. Why do I want to do so? I'm, uh... I'm afraid I can't answer that question. Not with a satisfactory answer. Oh dear. At least these ones die in one hit. Although this is the point in time where I'm really missing a, a controller with an analog stick. Oh, wow. In, 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 in. That should speed up the train by at least 50%. 50% of what? 50% of the base or 50% of its current speed? things are generally, well, it's not something we need to know, but it's still something I'd like to know now. Because I'm a nerd like that. If I take an interest in it, even the most pointless information can become interesting and food for lore. And fan fiction. Although, recently, I kinda sorta been losing my mind at Twitter. Just two more terminals. As, uh,. Well, to be honest, I'm just, I just got sick of Twitter's bullshit. <laughs> Alright, the yellow shooty ones. They look kind of like Doritos. Not a, how good, not a good flavor of uh, Doritos, but... Maybe they look more like uh, burrito cheese, melted burrito cheese from Taco Bell. Why am I thinking about Taco Bell? I hate Taco Bell. I don't think that's a controversial opinion. Taco Bell sucks. Yes, the train's at full speed. Now, on to reverse the field's polarity. All right, we can assume from Bentley saying it's at full speed that the 50% before was 50% of the original speed. Now, the problem I have with this particular hack session is that it's pretty hard to avoid getting bonked at least once when you're, uh, well, there's no delicate way to say this. When you're inserting yourself into the port. So. Ow. 
Nope. Nope, nope. Ah! I got distracted by an update reminder. No! Unfortunately, that that I am grateful that they decided to include friendly fire. Come on, ow! Stupid, stupid aim. Okay, I'm gone. Goodbye. Get out of my screen. What a beautiful trajectory! Alright, time to free Sly, get him back to the safe house, and then we shall be done for the episode. Oh dear. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. Spare me, senpai. Tank senpai. Tank san. Whoops, I had intended for you to drown. Get in there. along the prison wall are outfitted with a motion tracking device. There's no way for Sly to escape. Unless I take those guys out with my RC chopper. Yes, my RC chopper. Yo! Although I wonder when the RC chopper's bombs got nerfed. Because in Rajan 1, the RC chopper bombs were one uh, one shots on everything. And now I have to take two shots on these flashlight guards. Kindly die for our great and glorious leader, Sly Keeper. Freedom! Yes, the turtle! Terror! Sly, can you read me? How I've missed that sensuous voice of yours. Save the jocular comments for later. Do you see that hook above the train? Yeah. It's your only means of escape. Jump and hit the circle button to grab hold. Then swing on to the back of the train. I've already established a safe house and downloaded its GPS coordinates into your binocucom. We'll rendezvous there. Wow, you've really thought of everything. Don't I always? Yeah, you do. Thanks for busting me out. Oh, well, you know the old saying, if you can't count on a friend to bust you out of jail, what kind of a friend are they? Truer words were never said, wizard. There is so much wrong with this scene. Why was Sly allowed to keep his cane and binoculum? Why is there a conveniently placed hook here? But at the end of the day, that scene between Sly and Bentley, that was just sweet. So I can forgive the glaring plot contrivances. Yes, I am so magnanimous. And ow, my opinion is clearly the first and last and only that matters. Yeah. And we're back.
Okay, here's the situation. I've done some deep database crunching and figured out that Murray is doing time in cell block D. Getting him out is going to be tough. As you know, he's not very light on his feet. First, we'll need to get Murray into an isolation cell away from the other inmates. Second, I'll need you to get a sample of the Contessa's encryption algorithm. Don't worry, I'll explain later. Third, you'll need to pickpocket a few keys from the Contessa, but watch out for her pack of bodyguards. And fourth, you'll have to deactivate her giant attack robot. No, really, Sly, I'm serious. The Contessa has a giant attack robot. It just looks like a water tower. Now, once you've pulled off all these jobs, we'll be ready to make a play for the big guy. So, Bentley is the one who bombed all the guards. And Sly is the one who gets his name checked off in the book. I mean, I realize it's just that they were too lazy to animate a single-use tag team. Well, it wouldn't have been single-use, but they were too lazy to animate a uh, Sly and Bentley, or Bentley and Murray, or Sly and Murray duo mission complete screen, so, oh well. Anyway... Next time, we'll be doing our usual bottle hunting, but until then, remember to like, comment, subscribe, ring the little ding bell, and if you'd be so kind, get off my lawn, you filthy casuals. <laughs>